Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is background jobs. One of the important concept. Now, before we start with background jobs, firstly, we will understand what are the various types of jobs. So we have two types of jobs. First one is foreground jobs and second one is background jobs. Now, what is foreground and what is background? Foreground is also called as interactive and background is also called as non-interactive. Word itself is saying interactive. It means user will interact, user will give the input and get the output. Everything is in front of the eyes of the user itself. So whenever we will go for foreground, always, always there is a interaction. We will give the input, we will get the output. So far, whatever we did, we did everything in the foreground itself. We run the various programs. How? We run the programs in the foreground itself. Suppose if I will go for any of the program, if I will go to SC38 transaction code, I am giving any of the program, I am executing the program, I am giving the input, I am getting the output. So this program I run in the foreground mode itself. So it is a foreground job. User is giving the input, user is interacting. Everything is in front of the eyes of the user. So this is called as foreground or this is called as interaction, interactive. Now, what is background? Background means non-interactive jobs. Non-interactive means we will not interact at all. We will not give the input to the program. The program will run by its own in the background. Word itself is saying it is in the background. I will not be able to see that. I will not be able to give the input. I will not interact. It will run by its own whatever the time will be given to that particular program. Suppose we are saying this program will run at 10 a.m. in the morning. So it will run automatically at 10 a.m. in the background. I will not give the input. I will not execute. It will run by its own in the background. So foreground is called as interactive and background is called as non-interactive. So what is background jobs? Background jobs are the non-interactive jobs that perform their work in the background. They will run in the background without affecting the normal operations. Suppose I am saying, I am working in the SAP system. I am running so many programs in the foreground. So my foreground programs will never, never impact. And in the background, programs are running by their own. Background programs are doing their own job. They are never, never affecting the normal operations of the program. And yes, once you define a background job, system will make sure that the job will run at that particular time. The background job will run at that specified time. Just now we took the example. Suppose we are saying this program will run at 10 a.m. in the background. So it will automatically run at 10 a.m. in the background. And in the foreground, my process will be as it is now. Now we will proceed further. Background jobs 
run in the background without any user input user will not give the any input at all yes because they will run by its own and can be scheduled to run when the system load is low this is extremely extremely important point generally whenever we will schedule a program to run in the background we will always always go for that time when the system load is very low generally in the night we will always always schedule the background jobs now for this we will go for a simple example those specially who are working in corporates they can understand this point very well suppose at the end of the month whenever there is a last working day in of any month everyone is getting the salary slip in their email in their mail inbox how how suppose i am saying there is a organization which has 5 lakh employees so do we run the program in the foreground for those 5 lakh employees suppose that program is taking 5 hours to generate the salary slip of 5 lakh employees why why we should run in the foreground yes so these kinds of program always always run in the background at the last working day of every month yes there is a system schedule that this program will run in the background and will generate the salary slip of 5 lakh employees those who are working in foreground their work will will be as it is and the program is running in the background for 5 hours so our normal operations are as it is generally if you see someone is getting the salary slip at 1 o'clock someone is getting the salary slip morning 5 o'clock how how because that program is automatically running in the background and generating the salary slip of so many employees yes and at that time yes system load is low so we are scheduling the background jobs at that point of time suppose i will go for simple simple example suppose there is a customer okay now customer is saying after every 5 or 6 hours i will place a file in al11 transaction code suppose i will go for simple example you know al11 is the transaction code for sap directories suppose but customer is saying in this any of the directory i am getting a file after every 5 hours now you need to upload that file into sap system suppose you need to put that data into one table so what we will so it means what if we will go for foreground it means someone needs to be there who will run that program after every 5 hours so customer is saying why 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 a person is required who will run the program after every 5 hours so in that case we will schedule the program in the background that program will take the data from this directory and put into the table of sap and we will schedule that program to run after every 5 hours so after every 5 hours it will check take the file from the directory and upload into the sap system just see the importance of background jobs whenever we have huge amount of data and the programs are taking 2 hours 3 hours to run so at that time we will never never run in the foreground we will schedule those programs in the background whenever the system load is low and in the projects background jobs are widely widely used you can take the real time examples itself 
generally saturday and sunday banks are closed so how your checks are getting cleared how your transactions are done because everything is running in the background itself they scheduled that okay this program will run at this particular time and it will clear all the checks so this is the importance of the background job and the last is the most most important point in terms of the importance of background job there is no manual effort because we will not give the input we will not run the program there is no dependency on a man there is no dependency on the user itself because they will run by their own at their scheduled time and it is just like a automation we do not require someone who will run the program after 5 hours or after 10 hours it will automatically run in the background so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with a topic background jobs jobs are of two types foreground background foreground means interactive background means non interactive yes interactive means you are giving the input you are executing everything is in front of your eyes but in case of background they are non interactive we will not give any input we will not go for any action they will run at their specified time and background jobs never never affect your normal operations of the system suppose if i am working in the system i can continue my work as it is and in the background normal jobs are running running and running yes and whenever we will give the time to the background job yes system make sure that that job will run at that particular time now after that we covered yes in case of background job yes there is no in, in there there is no need for the user to give any input and yes whenever we will go for background jobs generally we schedule at that point when the bell load on the system is low we took the real time examples of how the salary slip is coming into the inbox of every user how banks are working suppose just now we took the real time example if customer is placing a file into al11 how how that particular file after 6 hours will go to sap table at that time user will not run the program after every 6 hours the program will be scheduled in the background which will automatically run after 6 hours and the most important advantage we covered because there is no dependency on the user the manual efforts is completely reduced yes and it's just like a automation itself in the next video we will see what are the various categories of background jobs what are the various status of background jobs then we will start with the practical part for the same so that's it in this video thank you